So the recent narrative regarding Nintendo is that they are overcharging on ports of old games. Donkey Kong Country Returns is launching at 60, and uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 also is launching at 60. And I have to say, who cares, right? These are new games for a lot of people. This isn't a big deal. This isn't some major epidemic, right? The reality is, unlike games uh, on other platforms, people are actually willing to pay for Nintendo games at full price because they're better than the competition. You know, I was perfectly happy as a kid saving up my meager allowance, you know, avoiding having it stolen by my... uh... Anyway, I remember having to deal with that, you know, paying full price for Nintendo games. And you know what? I did it gladly. You know why? Because the games were better than what I would get on PlayStation xbox and especially pc like nintendo just dominated that entire uh, that entire space like what exactly why exactly would i be upset at nintendo charging full price right and again this isn't even like the most brazen thing they've done right you know uh tropical freeze launched at a higher price point than i originally launched at right and again like I think back to that moment, you know, a Tropical Freeze, where uh, Nintendo threw you a bone, where you were just like, oh, I don't want to pay 60 bucks for a meager, little, irrelevant 2D platforming series, completely uh, ignoring the fact that Donkey Kong is one of the biggest IPs that Nintendo has. But, like, um, you know, Nintendo was just like, okay, we'll release it for 50 bucks. What happened? Nobody cared. Nobody appreciated for it, uh, them for it. Nobody said thank you, Nintendo. Nobody cared, right? And that's kind of my mindset when I look at, like, what people are doing now, like, complaining about these ports, right? Like, you're not supporting Nintendo Switch Online. You didn't support the virtual console. So, like, why exactly are you getting upset at these ports? Especially stuff like Return to Dreamland Deluxe that add quite a lot to uh, to the original version of the game right like again i am perfectly happy paying full price because 60 bucks isn't that much 70 bucks isn't that much you know i could buy a brand new nintendo console tomorrow if i really wanted to right like again why how exactly are you so poor that you can't afford 60 bucks for a video game like 30 bucks extra like than what you think the game should be like again this is the reality of this you know i remember people complaining about earthbound being like 10 bucks on the wii U shop like these people would not be satisfied unless nintendo was giving it away for free right is uh the long and short of it so yeah uh Nintendo shouldn't respect these people. They shouldn't listen to them. They should release all of their products at full price and make those sales and make money.